undulate race, a critically endangered species of skate found in the Mediterranean and the Atlantic, and the eggs of the uh, nurse hound, a species which we commonly find in the Mediterranean and, uh, and Atlantic. Uh, now the bottom dwelling sharks, which you can see here, the uh, benthic or the marsal sharks, like the uh, zebra shark and uh, the others, they all lay eggs, even the hawk shark. But the black tip reef shark gives live birth because it cannot stop to lay eggs. So it needs to be constantly swimming. The egg of the uh, heterodontus, the horn shark, is very strange. Because, uh, as you've seen the egg earlier, the eggs, uh, the shape of the egg of that shark is very strange. It is a spiral in shape. Spiral eggs. Okay, so can you see these uh, other fish, the silver fish here? Now, these are examples of bony fish. The uh, backbone is made out of uh, true bones, not like that of the sharks, cartilage. So here, here are the Florida pompanos and the batfish. Yeah. These large uh, fish, they look like large dinner plates. Okay, here are two different species of batfish. The long fin batfish and the round fin spade fish. It's not a spade fish, it's a batfish. The reason why we call them batfish is because of their very strange behavior. During the night, they swim upside down. So in here you can also see tangs. There's an angel fish over there. Now, angel fish, this gray angel fish, has a very special defense mechanism. It has a very sharp needle-like spike with its operculum, with its gill opening. Because when you have a variety of different fish living together with very large predatory fish like sharks, each different species living in this community needs to adapt its own different ways so they live together. Now in the case of the gray angel fish, they have a very sharp spine with the operculum, with the gill open. But with the uh, tangs, that's a grouper, but with the tangs, let's see. Uh, here are a variety of different tangs in here. Instead, they have very sharp spine with their tail. In fact, some species we call surgeon fish. This is an example of a tank, the uh, blue unicorn fish. Yes. Does the blue like surgeon fish back there? Oh. When you have a large community of tropical fish like this, the main predators are obviously going to be the sharks, the rays, the eels, over there you can see a lace the morning. In this case here are the uh, pelagic fish like the uh, pompanos being part of the apex predators. The batfish are also very aggressive predators and groupers. Here are three different, three different species of groupers. Over there there's one, but it's very difficult to see. It is the spotted height. There are coral hags and also uh, blue and yellow hags. You have any questions? Do they eat each other? Well, uh, could be. Could be. Uh, but uh, we try to uh, feed them as much as we can. Okay. Uh, obviously, not overfeeding. But, um, in fact, that is why we feed them twice a day. To make sure that the sharks uh, are given, uh, let's say, each of them, uh, they are given their share. 
But when you have a tank, even a small tank at home, uh, when you have the first uh, predator fish, you should always expect uh, that one of the tiny fish will uh, disappear. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it's uh, rare. Yeah. Very okay. difficult. Cool. But uh, if, uh, let's say, one of the squirrel fish uh, disappears, it's uh, nature, basically. 